boys and girls. I'm Miss Dara, and today we are going to take a musical journey to the swamp, where the bugs buzz and the alligators chomp and the frogs sing in the choir. And we'll be seeing a, a number of different instruments, new instruments today. I always have my guitar with me, right? So you, you know what that is. You've seen a guitar before. But today, let's start with an instrument that mimics the sound of the swamp. This instrument is called a rain stick. Some people think it sounds like rain falling. Some people think it sounds like the creatures making a rainforest. But I think it sounds like the frogs and the bugs that live in the swamp. If you close your eyes, you can pretend you're there in the swamp when you hear the rain step. She lives in a shell. She likes her home very well. She pokes her head out when she wants to eat, and she sticks her head in when she wants to sleep. Now, we can do that with our finger. Oh, hi there, Myrtle. Yes, you want to help me do a finger play with the kids? Okay, good. We'll put you on my lap over here. So, boys and girls, take a fist, and this is going to be your little turtle head. So here is my turtle. She lives in a shell. She likes her home very well. She pokes her head out boop, when she wants to eat and she puts her head in. Can you stick your thumb in your fist? When she wants to sleep. Our story today is called Turtle Tale and it's by Frank Ash. One morning on the way to the pond an apple fell on Turtle's head. It hurt so much that Turtle pulled his head inside his shell and made up his mind to keep it there, thinking that's what a wise Turtle would do. Inside his shell, it was so dark he couldn't see a thing. but he could still smell his way along the path to the pond. On the way, he bumped into an old friend. Thud! Hey, watch where you're going! He bumped into rocks. Dink! Fell off logs. 
and tumbled down hills. When Turtle got to the pond, he could neither eat nor drink. That night, Turtle cried himself to sleep. When he awoke the next morning, he stuck his head out and made up his mind to keep it there, thinking that's what a wise turtle would do. By then, he was very thirsty and very hungry. He took a long drink and had a fish for breakfast. After breakfast, he climbed on top of his favorite rock and began to sun himself. When the sun went in and raindrops began to fall, all the other animals took cover, but not Turtle. Fox, too, was running for cover when he saw Turtle sunning himself in the rain and decided to have him for lunch. When Fox leaped through the air straight for Turtle's head, Turtle thought to himself, but then again, maybe it's best if I keep my head out sometimes and sometimes pull it in. Clunk! Tucked safely inside his shell, Turtle waited for Fox to go away. When the rain stopped and the sun came out again, he finished sunning himself, thinking, that's what a wise turtle would do. And that's the story called Turtle Tale. So I think what Fox learned today was, you can't make a turtle come out. No, you can't make a turtle come out. You can call him or coax him or shake him or shout, but you can't make a turtle come out, come out. No, you can't make a turtle come out. can't ring a bell. No, you can't make a turtle come out, come out. You can't make a turtle come out. And when you forget that he's there, and when you forget that he's there, he'll be walking around with his head in the air, cause you can't make a turtle come out, come out. No, you can't make a turtle come out. Well, now that the turtle's walking around, why don't we take a little walk today, too? Gonna take a walk outside today. Gonna see where Gonna take a walk outside today Gonna see what I can find today Gonna take a walk outside today Gonna see what I can find today Now before we take our rowboat out for a ride, maybe we could make a pair of binoculars so we can see what kind of creatures are in the pond today. So all you need are two empty toilet paper tubes like this. Now if you don't have that, you could use one empty paper towel roll and have your grown-up help you cut it in half. All right, Either one will work. And if you'd like, you can cover it. So what you need for that is a piece of construction paper. And if you fold it in half and then in half again, 
each piece is exactly the right size to wrap around the tube. So before you want to do that, you want to cut your paper out. You could use wrapping paper or tin foil if you'd like. And you're going to take the paper and decorate it if you want. You can color it, you can put stickers on it, and you're going to tape one end to the tube, roll it around, and tape the other end also. Now what I like to do is put a piece of tape in the middle and then one tape on either end so the end doesn't stick out. All right, and you have it all taped on. So now you have two rolls. You're going to put the place where you taped it, that's the seam. You're going to put that together and you can either staple them together if you have a stapler that fits and you go the top and bottom or you can tape them together and you would tape them at the inside. So you end up with two rolls decorated with paper or wrapping paper or foil or even you can just leave them plain and put stickers on them. All right, next, you need a grown up to help you with this. You need a hole puncher and you're going to punch two holes near the top on the opposite ends. Just like that. And then you can take a piece of yarn or string or ribbon and put it through one end, tie a double knot, put it through the other, and that goes over your head so you don't lose your binoculars in the swampy water. And now we can see what kinds of animals we have at the swamp. So grab a hold of your binoculars and let's go row our boat out into the swampy pond. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Oh, stop the rowing! Let's see what creatures are out on the pond. I spy with my little eye a turtle! Hi, Myrtle. She's all tucked in, sunning herself on a rock. She even, she even looks like a rock, like a rock on top of a rock. Let's keep rowing. Here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Oh, I just heard a big splash. Did you hear that? Let's see what's doing that. What's making that? Big, uh oh, it's an alligator. We better row away. Here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Do we get far enough? Let's row a little bit more. Here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. I don't see him. Boys and girls, do you see that alligator? Oh, I think we got away. All right, good job. Ah, it's safe now. Oh, well, let's, let's roll over that way where the alligator isn't. Let's see what we spot. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Oh, I see little tiny splashes in the water. Let's see. I spy with my little eye. Fishes. Lots of fishes. There's a school of fish swimming all around us. They're really cute. All right, let's keep going. I don't want our boat to scare them away. Let's row away from them and let them have their swim in peace. <laughs> Wait a minute. 
what's what's all that buzzing? I don't even need my binoculars. For, oh, they're big, they're mosquitoes. Oh, let's get away from them. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. I don't know if there are any mosquitoes left. Do we get away from them all? I hope so. I don't. I didn't bring my bug repellent today. I don't know. Oh, I wish I were a hungry little skeeter. Oh, I wish I were a hungry little skeeter. I go bitey, bitey, bitey. When you go outside at nighty. Oh, I wish I were a little hungry skeeter. Oh, don't bite me, mosquitoes. Let's row back on shore so they don't get us anymore. Here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Okay, I think I'm done rowing in that swampy water. I'm better off taking a walk today. Gonna take a walk outside today. Gonna see what And what did I see? A frog on a log looking at me. What sound does a frog make? Mm, he goes, ribbit, ribbit. Hi, Mr. Frog. How are you today? Good. He's a green and speckled frog. Frogs like to hop. They hop into the water. They ride around on lily pads. And we've got not just one frog, but we've got one, two, three. Three green and speckled frogs sat on a hollow log, eating a most delicious bug. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are just two green speckled frogs. Ribbit, ribbit. Two green and speckled frogs sat on a hollow log, eating a most delicious bug. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there's just one green speckled frog. Ribbit, ribbit. One green and speckled frog sat on a hollow log, eating a most delicious bug. Yum, yum. He jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs. Where'd they go? This is the story of the wide mouth frog, and it's by Ken Faulkner. And here he is, casually on his lily pad, waiting for lunch to come by. I'm a wide mouth frog and I eat flies, said the wide mouth frog, shooting out his long sticky tongue. As he hopped along, he met a blue feathered bird. I'm a wide mouth frog and I eat flies, said the wide mouth frog. What do you eat, bird? I eat wriggly worms and slugs, replied the bird, snapping his pointy beak. Next, the wide mouth frog met a furry brown mouse. I'm a wide mouth frog and I eat flies, said the wide mouth frog. What do you eat, mouse? I eat crunchy seeds and juicy berries, replied the mouse, wriggling her whiskers.
The wide-mouthed frog was still catching flies when he saw a big green alligator. I'm a wide-mouthed frog and I eat flies, said the wide-mouthed frog. What do you eat, alligator? I eat delicious wide-mouthed frogs, replied the alligator, showing his sharp white teeth. <gasps> the wide-mouthed frog stopped catching flies and gulped. Then he puckered his lips and made his mouth as small as possible. Ooh, you don't see many of them around, do you? He said, and he leaped into the pond with a great big splash. There's a froggy in the middle and he can't get out, can't get out, can't get out. There's a froggy in the middle and he can't get out, he's stuck in the pond all day. There's a froggy in the middle and he can't get out, can't get out, can't get out. There's a froggy in the middle, he can't get out, he's stuck in the pond all day. Well, the frogs at the swamp are all part of a big froggy choir. And I have some more instruments, boys and girls, and these are some of my favorite. They look like this. It looks just like a frog, doesn't it? It's made out of wood. It's made out of monkey pod wood. And this is called, this instrument is called a gyro. And the way you play it, you have a little mallet that stores in the frog's mouth. And you hold it and go up his scales. And he makes a frog sound. You can also tap it. Now, different frogs make different sounds. The bigger frogs are hollow. All the frogs are ho hollow inside. And the bigger the frog, the bigger the hollow inside the frog. And that's how the sound makes different sounds. It goes around the hollow spot inside the frog. So here's a great big bullfrog. This is the biggest one that I have. And you play it the same way. He's got a great big hollow spot inside him. And you take your mallet and you go up the back. You can tap this one too. Now that's the bullfrog, and we have a teeny little tree frog. I don't even know if you can see him. He's so tiny. You may have tree frogs at your house. They make sounds at night. And same thing. You only have a little tiny mallet, and you hold it, and you go up his back. He has a higher sound than the bigger bullfrog. Here's the little one. Here's the big one, and here's the green frog, which is in between. whatever's flying by. Now, it looks a little bit, their tongue, like this party blower. Have you ever gotten one of these at a birthday party? I can pretend I have a frog tongue and I'm catching flies, 
just like my friend here does. He likes that. Can I share some with you? That's good, because I really don't eat flies. The frog lives in a pond. His tongue is oh so long. He reaches high to catch a fly. The frog lives in a pond. Frogs like bugs. Frogs like bugs. Frogs. different kinds of bugs. They like bugs that fly, like mosquitoes and flies, and bugs that hop, like crickets. I have another instrument here. It looks like a toy cricket, but it's a cricket clicker, and you hold it between these two fingers, put your thumb on the bottom, and you push the little tab, and it makes a cricket sound. The more he does that, the more Mr. Frog is going to find him and eat him for lunch today, I think. Here's another little musical instrument. This one is called a kazoo. And this one you put in your mouth to play, like this. Well, I blew into it, but nothing happened. Maybe, should I try the other side? Let me try it, let's see what happens. Nope, nothing there. You know why? It's not a whistle, it's a kazoo. And the way you play a kazoo is you hum into the big end like this. Just like that. Have you ever played a kazoo? I went to the pond and what did I see? Five little ducks swimming past me. Can you hold up five little duck fingers? Five little ducks went swimming one day over the pond and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 but only four ducklings came swimming back. Four little ducks went swimming one day over the pond and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 but only three ducklings came swimming back. Three little ducks went swimming one day over the pond and far away. Mother duck went quack, 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 but only Ducklings came swimming back. Two little ducks went swimming one day over the pond and far away. Mother duck went quack, 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 
But only one duckling came swimming back One little duck went swimming one day Over the pond and far away Mother duck went quack, quack, quack And all of her ducklings came swimming back There's a little white duck sitting in the water. A little white duck doing what he oughta. He took a bite of the lily pad and he flapped his wings and he said, I'm glad I'm a little white duck sitting in the water. Quack, quack, quack. There's a little green frog. Swimming in the water, a little green frog, doing what she oughta. She jumped right off of the lily pad that the little duck bit, and she said, I'm glad I'm a little green frog. Swimming in the water, glug, glug, glug. There's a little black. Well, there's nobody left except maybe this bird. This is called a loon, and it sounds like this. That's the sound of the swamp right there. And maybe as night falls, maybe we'll see some fireflies too. We can catch them, put them in a jar, watch them flash their lights, and then open the jar and let them go. Hi, Mr. Froggy. Well, night's coming. I think all the little frogs are going to bed. Should we say goodbye to all the children? We'll do one more song for them? Let's try it. Bye, everybody.